So you have this beautiful gaming mouse, Chakram X, from a well-known and respectable manufacturer, Anus. It's a multimedia mouse, that means it has an additional joystick on the side next to the standard back and forth buttons. I'm not sure if anyone actually uses back and forward buttons in the browser menu, and who thought it was a great idea to have physical buttons on your keyboard and on your mouse for the same back and forth function in the browser. That said, having additional buttons on the mouse is always welcomed, as you can bind them to something actually useful. In this particular case, those back and forward side buttons are bound to volume up and down in the Armory Crate software from Anus, and that makes controlling the volume of your computer a breeze. However, it turns out that in a particular game, which is Counter-Strike 2, making the sound quieter or louder with those remapped back and forward buttons also results in your character making a jump. In the keyboard settings in CS2, jump is bound to spacebar, and if you press the spacebar, your character jumps, but the sound volume doesn't change. Moreover, connecting a different mouse, a Logitech for example, to the same computer and having the same side buttons mapping to volume control in Logitech G -Spo uh, sorry, G Hub software does not show the same behavior, that means adjusting volume with the side buttons while in-game does not result in your CS2 character jumping. So, there must be some kind of an issue with this particular mouse model, Chakram X. As I said in the beginning of the video, it has a joystick on the side, and a similar issue with jumping occurs on some other mice models, which have like a keypad with several numbered buttons on the side. And probably this joystick is what causes the issue. Since the days of the original Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike Source and Counter-Strike Go, and now Counter-Strike 2 doesn't play nicely with joysticks, to the point where it refuses to run if you have a gamepad or a joystick or a keyboard with joystick emulation attached to your computer, and I've made videos about this issue. In those videos, the solution was just to add no joy as an additional command to Counter-Strike launch settings in Steam, and that fixed the issue. However, in this particular case, it doesn't help. It turns out that even though Steam specifically states that Counter-Strike 2 doesn't support controllers, Steam itself does have a feature which is called Steam Input, which allows you to use any controller, that means any joystick or gamepad or gaming wheel or whatever, with any Steam game, disregarding what the game itself has to say about that. I believe this is the remnants from the times when Valve produced Steam Game Controller, which has now somewhat morphed into Steam Deck, and probably on a Steam Deck you do need gamepad emulation for all games, so you could actually play them without mouse or keyboard, which a Steam Deck doesn't have. Anyway, what you need to do is to open Counter-Strike 2 settings in Steam, not the game settings inside the game, the game settings in Counter-Strike 2 properties in Steam library, go to the controller section and there disable Steam input. That's all you need to do. Now close this menu, launch the game through Steam, and this time around the sound control on your back and forward buttons will control your system volume, but will not cause your game character to jump. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.